name's Mary, so it's always been easy to relate to Mary in scripture, but sometimes I just want to be like Elizabeth. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mary, and I'm so excited you're here with me today. If you found my videos, you're probably preparing so much for World Youth Day, and I know what it's like. It can be stressful making sure you have everything packed, and honestly guys, I just want to bring you back to the heart of why you are going to World Youth Day, and that is because of Jesus. So today we're going to read Luke 1 verses 39 through 45, which is the visitation. And this is the theme that Pope Francis has picked for World Youth Day 2023 in Lisbon. And I think this is so beautiful because it plays from the Annunciation. Mary says yes to having Jesus. And then in the visitation, we see Mary with this new joy and excitement, but also uncertainty about the future going to visit Elizabeth. And I feel like this fits in perfectly with how many of us are feeling about World Youth Day right now. So grab your Bible and pray with me. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. During those days, Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. I'll give you a few seconds, a few minutes, pause this video, and just reflect on what we just read. I hope your prayer time was very nice. A few things that stuck out to me as we were praying was just the fact that Mary traveled. And I know that if you are going to World you'd say you are traveling in some capacity to get there. And I just want you to think about the journey as a whole, but really zoning in on what it actually means to travel. To travel means to go from one location to another. And sometimes we think it has to be a super far location in order to travel. But the reality is that so many times in our daily lives, we're traveling. Every moment we're traveling in a way, we're always in movement and constant motion to the next destination, the next step that the Lord has planned for us. And so as you're preparing, just remember that everything that you do and every step that you take is a step to get you closer to your final destination, which is union with God and heaven. And so the pilgrimage is really the step-by-step -step traveling of visiting whoever the Lord is calling you to visit in your life at this moment. And for some reason, he is calling you to go to World Youth Day, and that is going to be how you will be traveling in the next few weeks. You will be traveling in a very profound way to Portugal, or maybe you're already in Portugal, but you will be traveling to a different country in order to meet with the Pope and with hundreds of thousands of other people. It is going to be a beautiful experience. The next word that really jumped out to me and is the whole theme of World Youth Day is haste. Mary went in haste. And when I think about this, Mary had to travel about 80 to 100 miles in order to visit Elizabeth. This is after a huge event in her life. And I don't know if you're anything like me, but there are so many things that are going on in my life right now that it kind of is making it hard to really focus on World Youth Day, if I'm completely honest. There are just so many things that are going on in my life right now that I don't really want to move with haste. But I think to move with haste means to act. And to act can be scary when you don't really want to, or maybe there are distractions that are in the way. And so I feel like Mary just had this clear vision of what she had to do, and she was determined to do it. Mary knew that she had just been called by the Lord to this amazing plan for her life. And she couldn't just keep it in. She had to go out. She had to move. She had to go in haste. 
And so I know you may have said yes to going to World Youth Day in 2020, maybe 2019, and you have been waiting for years. Maybe your trip was postponed, but I just want you to have confidence that the Lord has called you. And when he calls, he wants to make sure that you act on what he's called you to do. And this is something I have to remind myself because guys, I can be honest with you. I'm so anxious about World Youth Day. I get really anxious in large crowds. And so there's a part of me that's like, um, I do not have to go to World Youth Day. But then I'm like, no, Mary, like you're going, you're going and it's going to be good. You're going to be okay. And I will be with you. I feel like the Lord is just calling us right now to know that he is going to be with us in World Youth Day as we prepare and as we travel. He is going to be with us and he's going to make the haste lesson. He's going to make it a peaceful haste. <laughs> oh, a sense of just peace as you are going forward. And the final thing that stood out to me during this passage was just the idea of Mary and Elizabeth talking to one another and um, just this image of Jesus and the woman Mary and St. John the Baptist in the womb of St. Elizabeth and just how at World Youth Day we're all kind of like Jesus. We're all in the womb of Mary and I think this is really important to remember because we are the body of Christ. Us Catholics, us Christians, we are the body of Christ. So if we make up the body of Christ then we are dwelling inside of Mary. We are protected by our mother. I just had an image of us in the womb of Mary and how at World Youth Day we're going to be nourished with the nutrients we need in order to go back to our countries back home after and to really just spread this joy of the gospel to all of those around us. We're going to be renewed in that missionary spirit of being sons and daughters of the Father in order to renew our homes, to renew our families, to renew our college campuses, and to really just bring hope to the world around us. We are going to learn about what it means to love those around us and to serve, and also how to be filled up, how to receive. And so I am so excited to just be formed in the womb of Mary during this event and to know that whether you're Mary or Elizabeth or John the Baptist or Jesus, that the Lord has a plan for you during this World Youth Day. And so I pray that any anxieties, any fears, or any worries that you have going into this week may just be set at the foot of the cross and that our Lord Jesus Christ might shadow you and radiate his love through you and in you through the most holy Eucharist to just set your hearts on fire. And so I just want to pray Hail Mary and ask for our Blessed Mother's intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you guys so much for being with me today. It was great praying with you. I hope that wherever you are in the world, that you're just preparing your heart and your mind to really just receive everything that the Lord has in store for you at World Youth Day. God bless you guys, and have a great day. Bye.